Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Svalbard channel. Today we'll be looking at a little bit of the trackball solution here, so how the scrolling and pointing functionality work, can work, can be set up on a Svalbard with two balls. So on the left side here, we have a scroll ball. You can see it goes up and down, and it also goes side to side, so you have full 2D pan with your left hand. You can toggle that to the right hand any way you want. And then on the right side, I have a pointing device, which I can zoom around with. Um, the pointer can be set to whatever speed you want. There's a bunch of DPI settings that you can change within Vile. And there's also a sniper key that lets you slow it down by a factor of, in this case, five. There are other sniper keys that let you slow it down by 2x or 3x multiplicatively. So you can actually get all the way down to a 30x reduction, which is a little bit ridiculous. Personally, I just like to have a generally fast cursor and a 5x reduction, which you can see here. So. As you can see, the motions are very, very small to access the trackballs, right? From my normal typing position here, I can be tippity tapping away, and then I can go straight to the ball just by sliding my hand down a little bit if I want a lot of precision. I can also literally just flatten my grip a little bit and get out the ball with my phalanges, and depending on exactly how you position it, this can be super, super easy. Using the phalanges also encourages the use of the whole arm, which I think is preferable generally to using the fingers where possible because uh, large wiggling motions of the fingers can cause RSI over time. The smallest motions possible are usually the ones you should use, which is why Svalbard is designed the way it is with these teeny tiny uh, key travels and very, very low forces. So what you can see here is I can scroll down the page. I can be moving around my mouse. I can go and find something. The mouse keys are on my uh, south keys on my left hand. That's what I prefer. And if you look down here, you will see little lights on the thumb clusters, which change colors. So when that's green, I am in my base alpha layer, and I could just type in there. Uh, although this is in read-only editor mode, so we'll have to go find another file here. Here, we'll just go mess up this file. So I can be typing away here, now I'm mousing. Now I click, now I drag, whatever I want, and I wait just a moment and it drops out of that mouse layer. Alternatively, you can set that timeout to be infinite, so you exit it with a key. Uh, you can also set it to be much shorter, so it's entirely up to you. It's all configurable directly in Vile, so you can mess around and figure out what works best for you.